This week, we got a question that you came up with. Yes, I did. I love when you call me up and say, you got a question of the week and I just tell you and then you're just like, no, we're not going to do that. <laughs> I Well, I, I came up with a version of it and then you tweaked it. Yeah, that's I true. wanted to ask, do you fantasize during sex? And then you were like, no, 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 no. They do fantasize. You just say, who do you fantasize about when having sex? Right. Is that a yes or no answer is not exactly a good conversation topic. And then you said, and why? And why? I want to know why. Okay, so this is the question. Who do you fantasize about when making whoopee and why? Okay, mother, you want to begin? I'm actually going to tell you something funny. Oh, Jesus Christ. I asked my boyfriend who he fantasizes about, which I knew already. And you will probably know. Nina Hartley. That's for one. Who? Nina Hartley, obviously, because Nina was the one who um, he used to watch her on porn all the time. But no. What? Our old therapist. <laughs> Can you imagine? I actually did know this. He talks about it all the time. Yeah. Do you remember her to be such a good looking? No. This is he hilarious. He just liked the fact that she said, shut up to me. Absolutely hilarious. And says something about your relationship. <laughs> Thank you. So, oh, wise sage therapist. How about you? Who do you fantasize about when making whoopee since you're the queen of fantasy over here? I am. And that's why I think if I tell you my fantasy, then it's not going to be a fantasy anymore. And then I forget about Are it. You're going to keep it to yourself. Well, I wanted to. I mean, it changes. It, Look, don't. I don't feel pressured. I'm I just, don't want to ruin any fantasy. I'm just saying fantasy. that at one point it was Bill Clinton. I knew it was Bill, Bill Clinton, okay, unfortunately. So, uh, I'm thinking of the first episode you talk about how you're fantasizing about Bill Clinton. I mean, I actually, you know, it's just, I think there's there's something to be said by the power he had as a president. You like that power, I the actually, power dynamic. I, I've seen him speak in public, and he's just a brilliant orator. Brilliant. He's just brilliant. Why are you making fun of him the way I say brilliant? Yeah, it was funny. So Bill Clinton it is. What about you, son? You know, this has been an ongoing debate we've had on the show where you say you fucking are fantasizing all the time during sex and I'm the one that doesn't fantasize during sex because it's such a novel experience. I'm creating the fantasy. This is what I'm going to be taking for years later. That fantasy. The, I, the, the one sexual encounter, that will create a fantasy that I end up carrying in my spank bank for about a year. A spank bank? I, I, I need I to mean, be focused. I, I understand that. Hypervigilant. You, you can use different fantasies, though. You think I'm going to be p placing a fantasy on this in a momentous occasion? Okay. No chance. All right. So it's basically, it's like you, you've you're never going fantasized about any celebrity or anything. You imagine you you go through all of your college years. You come to graduation. And instead of being present for graduation, you're thinking about a time that you went to Wisconsin Dells and, and you were going down a fucking water slide. Why don't you compound? Like, How many times can you use the same fantasy? What? Add on to it. Build on to the fantasy. While I'm with someone? You're not listening. When I'm with someone, I'm fucking zoomed in. <laughs> it's like friend. a microscopic vision. <laughs> I'm trying to get, inhale every single sensation that's that's occurring in my eyes, my ears. I start tasting things, sniffing. I know, you're hypervigilant on sniffing. You're trying to feel every part of interoception of my body. It's like trying to create a screenshot of this thing. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah, there's no fantasy going on. All right. When I'm by myself? Yeah, that's what I was Different story. To. That's what I'm referring to. But I'm with myself. You go back to those fantasies again, you I'm could sure. You probably go back to those. Those I, Usually it's it's the moments when when I'm, I was able to witness mutual turning on. Okay. So someone is turned uh -huh. on by me, I'm turned on by them. Yeah. It's a mutual We've definitely enjoyment. definitely discussed this in prior episodes. So then why, you know, well, why, I'm, are you I'm bored just by digging. what I'm talking I, about no, now? No, I'm digging. I'm You're digging. You're digging what? I'm digging. You're I want digging to, what? I want to know if there's a celebrity out there. that Because at one point. There's no celebrities. Remember Hillary Duff? All you did was talk about her at one point. Do you remember this? Yes. You were like 11? Yes. Okay. So has, has Hillary Duff still taken a... Hillary Duff has never entered my fantasies whatsoever. Even when you were like a teenager? I mean, maybe when I'm a teenager. Who knows what I was masturbating to when I was a teenager? Okay. Well, then go on. I do remember something that you told me. What? You, you were looking up at... You were like six years old. And we were watching soap opera. Oh, yeah. Here we go. And you turned to me and you said, your penis hurts. <laughs> <laughs> it hurts. Yeah, it still hurts. It, it hurts all the time. It hurts. You saw some sort of like making out, the couple was making out. Yeah. And you, your penis started hurting. Yeah. So. It's a painful experience. Do you have any celebrity living or dead? I think I'm very attracted to Scarlett Johansson. I've heard that before too, actually. From me? Yes. 
Are you bored by this conversation? No. What makes her? Why are you constantly telling me? Oh, I've heard this. I've heard that. I've heard you this. just said you, the same you know thing to me. I know everything about you. You know everything about me. So then, why do we bother with this? Stuff? I don't know. Let's hang it up. Wait. Let's hang it up. Let, let's go back to this for a what? second. Why Scarlett Johansson? I don't know, Mom. What What parts of her are attractive to you? I think she's a beautiful person. What are you? Oh, it's her personality. It's an inside outside situation. Oh, and what makes you? What are you studying her? I, 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 I've gotten to know her through some interviews. I saw Bullshit. some advertisements in the New York Times with her advertising some David Yurman jewelry. Oh, okay. So this is not just a bullshit thing. You really have done some research on Scarlett. Scarlett. Scarlett, if you're out there, you have a fan. You know, she's dating this guy, this fucking head writer of uh, SNL. Oh, he just this like, head writer. He seems right. like a fucking stunk. You don't, you, he seems like a shunk because you don't want this to work out because you want I'm her to be. I'm just saying she chose poorly. And then I what, started thinking, what, maybe why? she's a piece of, you know, who's going to, anyway, who cares? All who right. cares? I care. I'm just wondering, like, you know, why you chose her. And then now it, you've been, I didn't realize the research that's been going on. She's inside and outside a beautiful person. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you Still feel- not fantasizing about her during sex. Okay. Yeah. What, but masturbation? No. No, it doesn't. I don't feel it's not a sexual thing between. Is it more Scarlet like and I. like Glory Hole confessions? I have never masturbated thinking about a Glory Hole. Gang it, bang? No, Nuru massage maybe. New what? Nuru. What's that? Is that it's like that? Like it's when a they Japanese whisper? thing where they got a bunch of. It's like a lot of goopy oil. Oh, and then you like you fucking the, pour all that shit on and slick all over the place. And oh, someone's been researching. This on is this is why I like or... uh, Uber Lube. Uber Lube can offer some similar feelings. Are we back to Uber Lube? Well, I'm just saying. All right, so Wait, I want to get back to it. So, what was that? You said so a new been, room massage. How did you find this? Yeah, you can find new room wherever you go. No, I don't. I've never gotten I've never, a new room massage. I thought massage. you were talking about that whispering uh, ASMR or whatever. I've passed that. You were into that too. At one point, I went through a phase of a couple of weeks. What or about something. gangbanging? No. What about bukkake? No. What about <laughs> what's where are you? Where what is about, this role that's coming from? What about stepmother, stepson? No, but I have a question about that. What? Okay, why do you think that has become such a popular genre? I literally have no clue. I was debating about this last night with my friend. And what they say? He was like. You think there's something inherent to us that we want to... Like an edible to, complex to fuck, or something? Yeah, to fuck... And I was like, no, 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 I think it's the taboo. Like, it's so... Yeah. You're not supposed to do it. The people... There's an arousal from the taboo itself. Well, that's how anal sex used to be. Anal sex? Anal sex used to be very taboo. Now it's like, if they don't have anal, you're like, what's wrong with the video? That's, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, it's boring now. I'm so bored by porn to be quite honest because there's no you don't see the mutual desire for one another it's all fake and phony no you have to go to the casting couch also i don't feel the mutual desire like I, me inherently you know except for the the what's that called again the japanese new room massage new new room massage yeah i'm you, not sure if it's japanese i've seen it but when they pour oil oil all over the person yeah and then you're, they're sliding all up and down oh it's japanese well, you like that. It's a Japanese erotic massage. I'm gonna maybe I go to go to Japan and see if I can get a a real new room massage. Didn't we interview people that said they went to Japan and then they got little Japanese men to go down on them? Uh, the private parts are known girls. Yeah. I, was it in Japan? Maybe uh, some Asian country. I know that. Yeah. All right. Let's turn to the sneaky freaks. Well, can we? Can we? Yes, I'd like to hear what they had to say. By the way, I recognize that you just fucking put me in the hot seat and drilled me with with questions I'm for so the sorry. last fucking 10 minutes. So sorry. All right. Justin says, when I'm having partnered sex, I tend to spin up visual scenes that include them, which only seems polite as they are gracious enough to join me in sexual activity. He sounds like you. <laughs> that, that, that's, that's, that's boring, Justin. So it might be just visualizing us doing exactly what we're already doing, only in space. Or on top of Vladimir Putin's desk, oh, or what have you. Vladimir Putin's desk fantasy. Wherever my mind chooses to oh take my me, God. so that I remain in the moment, but at the same time not so in the moment that I climax too soon. Interesting. Justin sounds very much like Cam, except I have you ever fantasized about having sex on Putin's desk? Never. Have you? you ever, I have never had anything to. Fan, there was no fantasy with me and Putin. No, no, Putin doesn't enter my fantasies at all. He is one of the least attractive. Men, I think I've ever seen inside and out. 
but just the opposite of Scarlet. Just the opposite of Scarlet. <laughs> the complete opposite. Yeah, Putin is the opposite of Scarlet. All right. He goes on to say, when I'm having solo sex, who oh boy, anything goes. Although I can say definitively that unless something specific is on my mind, I tend to cast back and re relive my most powerful early partnered sexual experiences. Now that's interesting. And he, that's the reason for cougars. He goes to the archives. What? What are cougars? The whole concept of cougars, if you start out with an older woman teaching you shit, you want older women for the rest of your life. He's saying it doesn't matter the fucking age of the... Well, he doesn't, no, he doesn't mention that. No, read the ending what he just he said. He says it, or he's thinking about early partnered sexual experiences. Yes. So he doesn't talk about the age of the, uh, the partner. I know, but I'm saying that that is one of the reasons people tend to prefer cougars that have had early partner with a cougar experiences. Okay. I think you're all... You're all this is a projection. <laughs> That's what that is. I know. I'm getting. I always get people writing in yeah. about cougars. We'll get to that later. Right. They, they had an early encounter with a cougar, and now they want cougars. And he's saying basically he's just reliving all of his, you know, because you create those neural pathways, you know. Oh no. Do you do the, do, So this is interesting. What? I tend to go to just to the most recent sexual encounter. I don't go back. I go the, way back. I go way back. I can't I remember forth. shit in the back. Oh, you remember those experiences. That back catalog, I got, it's so distant, I can barely understand it. What? It was a hazy memory. I can't remember hazy shit. Hazy memory? There's only been a few. How hazy can they be? What do you mean, only a few? You 